who's got the worst quarterback situation. Mac Jones is a real problem. Think about that roster. Look at what they have. A real nice offensive line. Mm-hmm. The pass catchers are underrated at minimum. They beefed up at the line of scrimmage, specifically the offensive line. And the defense is mighty. The issue, the only reason that everybody and their mother is going to have them finishing in last place in the East this year is because of Mac Jones, right? They don't present as a real Super Bowl contender. Among those teams, it's the San Francisco 49ers. You can talk about Brock Purdy all you want and how far they got. That's I'm saying the the worst. You're saying the 49ers have the worst yeah. quarterback situation? Brock Purdy, Sam Darnold, or Trey Lance? That's pretty bad for a team that people are talking about going to a Super Bowl. I don't think you got a starter in the group. Yeah, but you don't need one. You didn't need one last year. Those are bad QBs, though. But, I mean, you're talking about who's got bad QBs? That team does. The Saints signed the cornerback for $100 million guaranteed who's 18 games under 500 in his career. So they'll need a new one. They'll, they're going to need a new quarterback in 12 months. The Saints have the worst quarterback situation that they actually signed up for. In an offseason in which Aaron Rodgers was available, Lamar Jackson could have been gone, but no. Let's go ahead and pair up Mark, the worst that's coach not in the worst in the division. That's not worse than Baker and, and but Baker, Trask. Baker, Mayfield, and Kyle Trask are making combined $5 million. If you're just talking about bum QBs in a bum situation, then yes, it's Tampa, but they're an irrelevant team, and we know that already. And right? also, but they can also get out of it. But everything considering, how could they be excited? How can fans be excited for that coming off of Tom Brady? Like, that's another thing to look at. But the answer is the Cardinals. As long as Kyler Murray's out, it's Colt McCoy, Clayton Toon. The Raiders let Derek Carr walk. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good on you. To sign a guy with a broken foot, whose foot has been broken for like 10 months, to one the point they put it in the contract, said, yo, if this foot doesn't heal, you can't play. And they were like, no, no, no. We're good on the guy we've had for the last seven years. Let's have the broke foot guy come be our quarterback. And I'm supposed to be excited about this.